Hello, this is Mark Anderson for Kellogg Community College, and today we're going to be talking about the change of base formula in this short video and how it applies to logarithms. Now, before I actually get to the change of base formula, I want to talk about one of the problems that we had earlier. One of the problems is that if we had, um, let's just say, uh, 3 to the third power. 3 to the third power is 27, and 3 to the fourth power is 81. So 3 to the what power is exactly 50? Now that number for x is probably between 3 and 4, but where exactly is it? Um, and we can't know because without just, I mean we just, you're going to guess maybe? 3 and a half, 3.4, 3.6? Or what if, what if I have to be, you know, more than just one decimal uh, to that number? Um, it, it becomes impossible to know. So what I asked you to do in an earlier video um, is I asked you to change this to some kind of log base 3 problem. Um, to get to 27, we would have to go to the third stage, or 3 to the third power is 27. Here, uh, base 3, uh, we would need to get to 81, and we can do that in four stages. So if I look over here, this is going to be log um, of some base 3, and I need to get to 50. But see, this is the way that we actually get the x by itself. Some of you might have been thinking like, oh, I can solve for x. You know, I can just divide both sides by 3 or take the cubic root. Or, yeah, actually, none of that works um, because the inverse of an exponential is a logarithm, not a square root or a division. So we need something called the change of base formula. To get to our answer of x, what we would need to do is take the log if we started out with maybe base b of x, what we would need to do is we would need to take the log of x and divide it by the log of b. And if we do that, if we can take this equation, um, or this function, excuse me, and we have um, x, which is our target number, and b, which is our base, we just divide these two. So I'm going to look at this problem over here because we could solve 3 to the x equals 50. So we change that into log base 3 of 50 equals x. And to find x now, all we need to do is take our log of 50 and divide it by log of 3. Now remember that, because when I bring the calculator up, we're going to actually lose this on the screen. So log 50 divided by log of 3. OK, so let's go get our calculator now and go log of 50 divided by log of 3. And remember our hypothesis was it was between 3 and 4. So here we go. Log of 50 divided by log of 3. And we have an answer of, wow, it was close to 3.5. But to be more particular, it'd be 3 and 5,009 ten thousandths. Because what we're going to do is down below, we're going to use the following change base formulas to find these answers to the nearest ten thousandths. So I'll do this right here. Okay, so here are the first two. If I'm trying to find when the base of seven hits a uh, 100, I'm gonna guess that it's between two and three because seven squared is 49 and seven th cubed is gonna be more than 100. So I'm gonna go log 100 divided by log seven. And that gives me an answer of, my guess was right. It's going to be 2 and 3,666 ten thousandths, since we want to go to the nearest ten thousandths here. OK, so my next problem is going to be log base 5 of 8. My guess is going to be between 1 and 2, because 5 to the first power is 5, and 5 to the second power is 25. So here we go again. Log uh, 8 divided by log 5. What's great about the change of base formula is it works in base 10 or works with any base that your calculator is doing. So um, this will give you the answer. Again, my hypothesis was that it would be between um, you know, 1 and 2, and there it was. 1 and 2,920, or excuse me, 292 hundredths, since I'm going to round to four decimals and that last one's a zero. So again, make sure to round correctly. 5 and above, give it a shove. 4 and below, let it go. So 2 
and three thousand six hundred sixty six ten thousandths one and two hundred ninety two hundredths since that would be a zero okay so for our final two problems we're gonna have log base 10 which is the same as log of 500 now you'll know that that's the same and if some of you missed that log base 10 is the same thing as common log and just robotically went like this divided by log of 10 you would get the same answer because log of 10 is 1 because if you're trying in base 10 to get to 10 it would only take you one step so this is 2 and 600 uh, this would be 690 because um, the 9 and the 7 the 7 rounds this up to a 0 rounds up to a, a 9 so it would be sorry 699 thousandths all right our final one uh, this is my guess 7 to 1.2 it's going to be just a little bit after 1 since, or a little bit between, um, it's before 1 because 7 to the first power is 7. So this is going to be between 0 and 1. That's my answer. So log of 1.2 divided by log 7. And there's my answer again, as I thought, between 0 and 1. All right, so this is 934 ten thousandths. So if I write these down, which will finish up this video here for finding the change of base, um, this is my answer here, 2 and 699 hundredths. Here, this is 934 ten thousandths. And that is the change of base formula. Thank you.